In this video, I'm going to transform myself into the planet Mars. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. I'm an astrologer, card reader, and life coach. And this is my channel dedicated to all of those things plus spiritual topics in general. And if you are interested in booking a reading or a coaching session with me, you may do so at my website, NicoleBrenny.com. So if you've already seen other videos in this series, I have already used makeup, hair, and wardrobe to transform myself into the Sun, Venus, and Saturn so far. And today I will be doing the same thing. I'll be using makeup, hair, and wardrobe to transform myself into the planet Mars. And this whole process has been really insane. Like I've really felt 100% fully in my Martian energy. So I'm really excited to present the makeover for you guys. And if you are unfamiliar with the work that I do, I follow the ancient Vedic texts to determine how the planets look like. So there are actually descriptions that are written down in the ancient texts of how each planet looks like and the different things that the planets rule over. So I'll just be following those word for word. It's not about creative interpretation, but of course, in order to create a complete look, I will have to make some creative decisions and I will let you know about those either in this video or in the accompanying article, which will be at my blog, listen to the stars.wordpress.com. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
All right, there you have it, you guys. I've transformed myself into the planet Mars using hair, makeup, wardrobe, and jewelry, and this is the finished look. So what do you guys think? I think it's a pretty good look. I uh, definitely envisioned something like this for Mars, and I'm glad that it turned out this way, especially the scar. I really do like the scar quite a bit. So I'm gonna take you through everything um, from the ancient texts, and then following this, I will have some photos that you guys can look at with more information. But the most, um, or the main quote that I'm using from the ancient text to help guide this process is, Cruel with red eyes is Mars, moving to and fro, of torn form, pit to nature, angry with a lean, medium-sized body, oh, twice born. So that's really kind of the inspiration for this whole look. So the first um, choice that I made is the color red. So I used red linen, a red mala, red hair, and a lot of red in the makeup and the face. So Mars is supposed to be red-eyed, and Mars rules over red linen. And Mars actually has some names that associate him with the color red, including Rakta, Rudhira, and Lohitaka, which all mean red, and Lohitanga and Raktanga, which mean red-limbed. Then he also has a name called Angaraka, which relates him to the color charcoal and to charcoal. So that's why I went with this charcoal black turtleneck and the kind of smoky charcoal eye. And as you can see, I even did a lot of red eyeshadow. So I combined red and charcoal together into a look. And I really do think it looks quite Martian in a lot of ways. Then Mars is supposed to be cruel-eyed. So he's actually one of the cruel planets, including Saturn and Sun, but he's actually the cruelest of all of them. And Mars represents some of our biggest challenges in life. So I didn't want to make some peaceful, like sexy, beautiful Mars. I wanted Mars to be cruel without being too counterculture. So I um, went with like a real intense smoky eye. And in a lot of the poses that I did and in the montage that you just saw, I'm doing more like cruel, intense kind of poses because Mars really is that kind of cruel intensity um, when you really get to know Mars. And one of the names that makes Mars cruel, a name that he goes by is Krura Nitra. And another name is Krura Drik, which is cruel sighted. So Krura Nitra means cruel eyed and Krura Drik means cruel sighted. Then Mars is of torn form. So Mars rules action. He um, uh, is always moving around. He's moving to and fro and action results in injuries. So if you think about like a skateboarder, how you know they're always going around doing crazy tricks and of course they fall and they break a bone and all of that. So Mars will definitely have like scars on his face, bruises, he'll be cut up. And I went ahead and just created a humongous scar <laughs> across my face, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, Mars is also Pitta, so he doesn't need comforts. He just really enjoys trying. And even if he doesn't get the success that he so desires, he still wants to try. He wants to make an attempt to be the best or do the best, right? So it doesn't matter if he wins. It's just that attempt and that courage and that competition that Mars loves. And Mars is an active and action-oriented planet. So, and even more so than the sun. So you'll see also in the photos that I've taken that I'm doing a lot of active poses. Mars is angry. So I, again, like I said, I did a lot of aggressive looks. And then Mars has a red complexion. So I did my best to do a ruddy look. I've been looking everywhere for a great red blush and I haven't been able to find one. And I just really took a lot of different lipsticks. I used this palette that I really like and I created this ruddy look all over the place. And I also took some of the um, reds from the Venus palette and I kind of splotched that around a little bit to create more of the splotchiness and the ruddiness. It's really funny that I use these palettes because they're called Venus and I'm doing a Mars look, but that's how it works. And I didn't really do a lot of contour or anything like that. I did a little bit because Mars is supposed to be lean and fit, but I pretty much just left it with the ruddy complexion. Bronziness and um, a glowy look with the red is more towards, uh, or more so aligned with the sun. Mars, or Mars is a Shaktriya planet. So because Mars is a Shaktriya planet, I could have very easily kind of gone into like this subculture look with Mars. I really wanted to make Mars even more goth, but really uh, Mars is more so gonna be more so like a normal person. And this is how they explain the Kshatriya caste. Valor, radiance, endurance, skillfulness, not fleeting from battle, generosity, leadership, all are the natural duties of the Kshatriyas. So they're basically being called to action in accordance with, the dharma, with dharma. So even though I have a nose piercing, 
this is a pretty common piercing that people get in India. This isn't really a subculture sort of thing. I'm just kind of a cruel person wearing a bunch of, you know, normal looking clothes. So I really went with, you know, Mars being like a warrior and I even got a, um, a military shirt to match this. This is a real military shirt. And I really wanted to show that Mars is valorous and Mars is trying to fight for Dharma. Mars rules over bitter flavors. So you guys saw I had some hot chocolate that I was enjoying. So that was definitely in line with Mars ruling over bitter flavors and usually bitter medicinal plants. So anything like chocolate, dandelion tea, things like that. I do love dandelion tea, but I didn't want to drink dandelion tea today. So I made some hot chocolate. Mars also rules over neem. So as you guys saw, I had some of that neem oil and um, I just wanted to show you guys the rulership over neem. And I really do love neem as well. It's a really great product to use in your hair as a hair mask. Then Mars rules over red garments and linens, as I mentioned before, but Mars also rules over clothing that have been burnt by fire or acid, but are not made useless by being burnt. I am wearing acid wash jeans. I don't know if you guys really paid attention to that or not, but acid wash jeans are a linen that has been burnt by, uh, by acid, but not made useless. And I was thinking of like taking my shirt and burning it in a bunch of bleach and taking like a cigarette and making holes in it, but I think that this is a lot cooler and less costumey. Then in the Graha Sutras, Ernst makes different recommendations for beauty for the different planets, and just like the sun, Ernst says that the Sun and Mars would both dye their hair red and wear red lipstick. So I went with the color actually called Blood Moon for my lips. I don't even know if you can see the name of it, but it's a very dark red, which I think is more kind of symbolic of Mars because Mars is related to blood. So this really does kind of fit Mars quite a bit. And then I actually got a red wig which I think looks pretty great. And I kind of like that the hair is messy because Mars is supposed to be of torn form. So it's kind of nice that it's not looking so perfectly, perfectly in place. Then Mars is a starry planet. So I have the star earrings like I had for Venus. And then Mars rolls over sandalwood. So I had this amazing mask that I used. It's actually an amazing mask. I might link to it below just because I really liked it. You can't really see it, um, but this is made with turmeric and red sandalwood, and it's a, an Ayurvedic face mask. So basically, Mars's rulership over sandalwood is um, based off of the fact that the image of Mars should be made in sandalwood, so you should carve it out of sandalwood. So I will talk about all of the other concepts in the remaining photos, and um, I will see you after we look at all of those photos. Mars rules over places of fire, so that includes brick factories, weapons, plants, cremation grounds, places burnt by fire with the charcoal remains still on the ground, kitchens, barbecues, heaters, fireplaces, and also military training grounds. So here I am actually at a military training ground standing on a tank in a few different poses, so I just went straight to the source. And then we wanted to shoot something burnt. I actually found a burnt down house, and on the way to find the burnt down house, I came across a prescribed burn area. So this is an area of land or forest where a city will deem it to be needing to be burnt. And so this will reinvigorate the soil and get rid of invasive species. And when I went to go shoot at the burnt down house, it had already moved. So we went to the prescribed burn area and the fire was gone and we were stuck with a bunch of charcoal and it looks like a crazy desolate wasteland. So I thought it was absolutely perfect for Mars. Mars is upward facing. So being upward facing or upward looking, Mars looks towards challenges that he desires to tackle and surmount. And he is willing to increase his strength and ability to be able to do that by training or doing whatever it takes. He's competitive and he wants to reach his goals. Mars wears red garlands, and this is a quote from the ancient text that says, wearing red garlands and clothes, a spear, trident, and mace, and blessing, four-armed is Mars riding a ram. So I just threw that little detail in there. Mars is also wearing a red athletic shirt, and this is because Mars is related to strength. Mars is also related to sharp objects. So here I am holding a machete and I was in the other photo as well. And I'm pointing the machete towards the sky to show again that upward looking action. Because Mars rules over sharp objects, Mars also rules over things like piercings. So that is why I have a nose ring in this video as well. 
Mars also rules over movement. So in a lot of these photos, I'm really trying to show the movement of the wind and my body. And a little small detail, Mars rules over the signs of Aries and Scorpio. So I'm wearing an eagle pin. Eagles are related to Scorpio in Western astrology. And I have the mannequin head featured a lot and Aries rules over the head. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the look as well as the photos that I took with my friend Alex. I will leave all of his information below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed because I will be making so many more videos and you can check out the full playlist of all of the different astrological makeovers that I have done. All right, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video.